Hello, my Earth children. This is God. I've got something that just continues to give me grief. Let me tell you what that is. It's disturbing my golfing game, I know that. What it is, is the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. The Mormons. Yep, I'm going to call you that because that's what you are. You're Mormons. And uh, for those who don't know, in Chinese, Mormon means the gates of hell. And that's where the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is on the precipice of the gates of hell. Now let me get into it here. This year is the 175th anniversary of Joseph Smith's assassination and the 190th anniversary of the start of Joseph Smith's movement. That's right. Joseph Smith started his movement in June of 1829. The LDS canon date of April 6th, 1830 is considered the official date, but there is no government filing for the church. Thus, it was never a real church, merely a movement. So Brigham Young claiming secession of what he claims was a legitimate church is doubly wrong. If it were an actual church, members would have a stake in its growth and assets. That's where I take you back to the future in 1923 when Heber J. Grant filed for the first time the fake church as a corporation. Notice the second article. In the 1923 filing with the state of Utah, only the leadership, let me say that again, only the leadership of the church, I mean corporation, are in control of the assets of the organization. As members, you have no claim to anything, meaning you are merely customers to increase the assets and revenue of the organization. Mormons, you are literally sheep. In a consumer term. Now Mormons, let's step back and look at the big picture. Are you familiar with the term priestcraft? You won't find it in Webster's, and even on a website spell check, you won't have it recognize that word because it is solely used in the Book of Mormon. And ironically, it is the very thing which your church has chosen to do. It means turning religion into a business, getting paid to preach. The Mormon Local leadership are truly lay ministry, meaning they don't get paid. Yet the big boys at the top do actually get paid, and quite well. That's right, Mormons. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is priestcraft. Let me say that again. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is priestcraft. Now, Mormons, remember how you have to pay tithing in order to qualify as worthy to enter into the temples? You have to pay for your exaltation. You have no claim to any asset of the corporation and they make you pay to give you the impression that you will be exalted in the afterlife. Is anyone familiar with the pyramid scheme business? In a pyramid scheme, you have typically the founder who recruits people into giving him money for a sales kit, 
which new recruits of the recruits get money from the sales of the sales kits. Utah is the capital of pyramid schemes, which are called multi-level marketing scams. Anyone know of USANA or Deterra? For just a couple of examples, they may actually have products people can buy if they don't want to recruit, but just to have that revenue generated by recruitment turns every such business into a pyramid scheme. Mormons. Mormons! Do you not have to pay for your own missions to recruit others to pay money to the organization? Mormons! Do you not have scriptures, magic underwear, and other merchandise you can purchase? Because the organization does not pay everyone to go on missions to recruit. That, by definition, turns the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints into a pyramid scheme. As a sole corporation, it is a non-profit rather than a charity business. The reason why they chose a non-profit over charity is that according to IRS tax law, a charity, especially a food charity, must spend over 90% of its donations on actual charity, with the remaining 10% going to administration costs. It should be very clear by now that though the LDS Corporation has Welfare Square with Bishop's storehouses, the corporation spends about 0.05%. Let me say that again. 0.05% on actual charity. This is why the LDS Corporation is a non-profit instead of a charity. So they can spend less on charity and claim real estate and publishing as their IRS required 65% expenditures on the intended non-profit cause. But remember Mormons pay the cost for the real estate and the publishing so that the corporation doesn't even spend the 65% getting it all back from those little Mormons for their profit. So now, Mormons, now Mormons can see that they are not members in the sense of part owners in the company. If that were not the case, then the LDS Corporation would be in violation of Utah law in which corporations cannot have members under the age of 18 in office positions. Anyone familiar with the Aaronic Priesthood and the offices of deacon, teacher, and priest? Whew. They dodged a bombshell on that one, didn't they? How much more evidence will it take Mormons before you realize the truth and leave the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as the fraud that it is? Let me repeat that again. How much more evidence will it take, Mormons, before you realize the truth and leave the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as the fraud it is? Now go do something good in the world. And get the hell out of that church. You, sir, are an idiot.